Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today I'm going to be doing a sleek braided ponytail on my natural hair. But before I start, I'm going to go ahead and get my hair all prepped because my hair is looking a real mess right now. I did some large flat twists in it after taking out my box braids and so this is what it's looking like. I didn't even comb it after taking out my braids and yes it's dirty but we're gonna make it work today because I'm not about to wash my hair before putting a ton of products in it. By the way you guys I have to show you something. I cut my natural hair out taking out my braids a few days ago and I was devastated. This is what it looks like. I was so upset. I, I almost started crying but I told myself it's hair. It'll grow back so I guess I'm on another journey. With this big comb I'm gonna go ahead and detangle my hair. I usually don't like detangling my hair when it's dry but right now I don't have much choice so I'm gonna just go ahead and do so and hopefully my hair will be okay and not break off too much doing this. So since my hair is dirty I'm gonna go ahead and use this no rinse shampoo to help break up some of the product I have sitting in it. The instructions on the bottle said something like put it in your hair, then towel dry, then style it, but I'm using it a total different way. After shaking it like the instructions said, I apply it onto my hair, then I brush my hair to distribute the product all over it, and then I do some twists, and then I let it just sit there while I move on to the rest, and I did all of my hair just like that. The only reason why I did it like this is because for one, I'm a person who believes that the longer the product sits on your face or your hair or your skin, whatever, the better it will work. And for two, I'm going to blow dry my hair to get it nice and straight so I feel like doing it this way works so much better for me. And this is crazy me after I was done with all the twists. I'm about to take them out one by one and I'm going to blow dry them as I go along. Now that I'm done blowing out my hair, I'm going to go ahead and start this ponytail process. I'm going for a side part, so I'm going to start off in the front by making that first part in. And I'm going to be doing a zigzag part. I first went with a straight part in just so I'll know exactly where I want that zigzag part in to be. This is the jam I'm going to be using to do my ponytail today and I'm also going to be using it to do the part in the front. I'm adding it to the parting that I already have so I could go ahead and make it into the zigzag parting. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the parting and I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take a while. I was definitely struggling with it because it, it has been a long time since I did any zigzag parting in my hair so I guess that's the reason why but anyway I managed to make it work And there it is. I was actually proud of myself. It came out just the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I'm twisting this section here and clipping it down because I'm going to work on my ponytail starting from the back. Now I'm going to make this last section in three and the reason why I'm sectioning it off is because it's better to layer my hair when I'm doing sleep back in sections than to do it as a whole. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm going to make this part right here in three sections. Now I'm going to go ahead with the back and I'm going to put all of the back in a ponytail at once. I'm not going to section it off because it's going to be covered by the front anyway. So if it's not as sleek as I would want it to be, it's going to be fine. I'm going to set the hair exactly where I want it, then I'm going to apply some jam and then I'm going to use this hard brush to brush it and this is the only time I really use this brush in my hair because 
using this rough brush can really tear your hair out but I'm being careful believe me now I'm gonna use this hair tie to hold this section in place now I'm gonna work on the front starting with the ones on the side first I combed it in the direction that I want it to lay and then I add some jam on the front and the back and this way it will lay nice and flat against the rest of my hair and looking really sleek and smooth. Each time before adding the hair tie, I remove the one that was there first and then add the new one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this side. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. And now for the final section, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did with the rest of them. I'm going to comb it out, sleek it down right back into my ponytail. Now I'm going to use my edge control by edge effect to fix my edges and that will complete this section of my hair. I really like the jam I use and this edge control, they really hold my hair in place. Now I'm going to tie it down using two rapid styling strips and then I'm going to also tie it down with my hair scarf. This is the hair I'm going to be using today for my ponytail and this is the same hair that I used in my previous video. Also I'm going to be using this curly hair and this is the same hair I used in the previous video. I'm going to use this hair tie to wrap around the braiding here and hold it in the middle. Now I'm going to attach the synthetic hair to my ponytail by wrapping the hair tie around it. I'm leaving a small section out when I'm done making my ponytail. I want to use it to wrap around the root of it. Now I'm going to braid my ponytail and the first thing I'm going to do is separate the synthetic hair into three sections and then I'm going to do the same with my natural hair and add a piece of my natural hair into each section of the synthetic hair. Now I'm going to add the curly hair and I'm using about half the pack into my braids. I'm not braiding it too tight except for the section where my natural hair was because I want it to be nice and flexible instead of stiff from being too tight. Also because I add the curly hair I prefer it to be a little bit more on the messy side instead of too neat if you understand what I mean but this is just my preference. By the way, I secured the end with an elastic band and you guys will see what it looks like in a few. 
Now I'm going to use this extra piece to wrap around the root of my ponytail to make it look even more natural. And as I go along, I'm going to use some jam to sleek it and use my brush to keep it nice and straight. And I'm also going to be using some got to be glue free spray to spray it and hold it in place. And there it is, nice and sleek and looking just the way I wanted it. And this is the finished look. I got to say I really like it. It was giving me this really cute, fun, flirty feeling. <laughs> so of course I leave a little bit of the curly here peeping out at the end of the hair because I just thought it would look cute. And this is very similar to how I did my last box braids. <laughs> this baby was so long I couldn't even fit her all in the video without holding it up and I was absolutely loving that. I had so much fun with this ponytail. This is a look at the back of it. I must say it came out so much better than I expected especially with my texture here. The jam that I used also did a really good job holding my hair together and I will definitely leave the product information down in the description box below so please check that out. Leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle, I would love to know. I enjoy reading your comments, believe it or not. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.